student application by former ANC Northwest Chair Asupra Mahumupilu and other disgruntled party members has been struck off the roll. Four members from different ANC regions headed to court to challenge the party's National Executive Committee's decision to disband the Provincial Executive Committee. Yet another court battle. ANC members taking the legal route yet again. This time, former Northwest Chairperson Supra Mahumapilu and four ordinary members from across the different regions, all wanting the South Gauteng High Court to overturn an August party decision to disband the PEC. One would have expected that the applicants would have approached the court not only timelessly, but presented the matter procedurally correct and properly. Regrettably, this, this did not happen. But Mahomapilu is in budging, determined to take the matter further in making sure it's attended to urgently. It was not uh, out of our own insistence that we come here, but we are forced by circumstances that prevail because there's nothing more to exhaust internal in the ANC. At the same time, questions have been raised on the supposed delay in bringing the matter to court. We also ask for the decision of the 20th of September 2018 to appoint a PTT to be declared unlawful and set aside. It was argued that the PTT only became operational on the 20th of September and is still in office illegally. To have <coughs> that subverted into a top-down decision of the NEC to tell you that you will have this one and this one and this one and this one is itself a, a crisis uh, which must only happen in emergency situations. But the ANC's legal team disagreed. It is of no moment to refer us to the powers of the Provincial Executive Committee in Rule 19 when we are dealing with the fact that uh, that very same PEC has been dissolved in terms of the provision which confers the power on the uh, uh, NEC. The matter is likely to be back in court soon. Abongile Tumago, SABC News, Johannesburg.